So by now this picture should look quite familiar to us. We have local extrema at the endpoints, at these points in the middle, and at the other endpoint. And of course we know at each local extreme one of these conditions is satisfied. Now there's something kind of special about the last two conditions. So let's look. F prime equals zero. That's here, here, here. And F prime does not exist here. So these last two conditions, they actually have a special name. These are called critical points. So just to be formal, let's write it out. A is a critical point of F if F prime at A is zero or F prime at A does not exist. Now when we're given an actual equation, one of the first steps we'll be doing to find the local minimums or local maximums will be locating the critical points.